we're starting the vlog off outside of the activities today because Logan has the big jump um, booked for today. So if you watched yesterday's vlog, it actually got cancelled because of the wind. So they've booked an early one at quarter past nine this morning. Hence why I've got no makeup on yet. And I look like I've just literally woken up. We've been awake since seven o'clock this morning, but we're leaving today. So we've like rushed around, packed the van up and stuff like that. And then came down to do the big jump. Logan's super excited. They're still blowing it up because they shut off the electrics and um, normally they don't do it today but they've blown it up now so we're going to be like about five minutes late and then we'll head off to our next destination well done Logan is that good I was scared from you know because he's never done it before <laughs> Well done, Logan. How was that? You got so good. Oh no. A little bit. bums more, Was it worth it though or not? What? Was it worth it? You got a little spider on your face. Is it high? It looks high. I've got it off. Um, by the way, when you get up there and you jump, it feels like it's ten times higher. Yeah, I bet you it does. <laughs> Should mum show you a little funny air video that she made? That's going to be on Instagram. <laughs> I don't like it then. You're gonna like it. Look, ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Look like you in a movie. <laughs> Is that funny? Was that the second one I did? The second yeah. one you did, yeah. You did so well. High five. I was so scared. So I was like, I hope he doesn't get hurt. I was really scared. <clears throat> Did really well though. When you jump, no, I holded my breath for when I landed. <laughs> so we are now at Great Yarmouth's Pleasure Beach. Um, what we missed last time we were down here, and we promised ourselves that we'd come back and do it. So did we just get access through this way because you paid the line? Uh, yeah, it is gate A, and I've got to gate A. So okay, so booking the tickets down there, but because we paid online. I think we just come through this way and then get a direction down there. But that looks really cool, doesn't it? The big log. Yeah, like so have you, a log of have you got all the names for it and everything, have you? The what? All the names for the different rides, have you? Have you got I, them all? I have, I looked them up. Yeah. But I haven't got them up by heart. So I think we'll check in and then we'll fill you in a little bit more about this place in terms of prices and stuff and some of the rides they've got to offer and check in times and check out times just in case you're interested in coming here. So you ha well, you don't have to pre-book, but it's best to pre-book online. And the reason being is because they're doing time slots at the moment, because of the current situation, Corona things, just to try and limit the capacity of like um, how many people are actually You get to jump the queue a little bit, don't you, when you book online? Because there's a big queue down yeah, there at the ticket true. office, so I mean, there's another benefit of booking online. So yeah, is it cheaper online or is it the same price? Same price, it's Same £13.50 price. 50. Yeah. 13 pounds fifty per person. And the sun's coming out, look how bright it's getting now. And they don't do like non-riders, so if you're like me, you're pregnant or you don't like rides. And you just come to because you do with the family, yeah. you still have to pay the full price, don't you? You still have to pay the full yeah. price, yeah. So, but I mean, £13.50 isn't bad, I mean, if you go to like Water Valley or you know... Any of a big Mingo theme park, it'll cost you at least about... £35 or something like that, yeah. depending on which one you go to. Um, but yeah, really reasonably priced and... Um, Great for young children as well because there aren't huge rides here. There's a lot of like younger rides. Um, and you can get to go on as many times as you want. Yeah. Can't you? So just like, go on anyone you want over and over again. So, so your session lasts for three hours. You can get, buy sessions for three hours or four hours and we bought the four hour one. So this is the theme park that we're in at the moment so we've got disco who's going on disco um, i'm going to do a pilates ride yeah. 
Jan, you're gonna have Tesco? Go on then, let's go on the first ride of the day, Tesco guys. I say like I'm going on it, I'm not going on it. <laughs> Perfect theme park for me because I'm not like a big thrill seeking ride type of guy. Like but, Stephanie does all the big ones at like like Water Valley, Flamingo Land and stuff like that. But you can never get me on a big roller coaster. But that was just right my street, that was really good. Caleb, what did you think? Because that was your first time on a ride like that. I, I get it. So Caleb was too small to go on the Lightning 360s just under the line. Uh, so he's really upset. So there's the teacups right next to it so he's went on there by himself well Dion, Sean, Logan and Big Sean have went on the Lightning 360 Are you all right? Nervous Nervous? I've got really chunky legs to chat with What is that you can do? Is that right? So this one you can control it you can do like a full 360 if you want to Oh you can do it through wow so you can go upside down and stuff Full 360 right? That is so cool Yeah Back on the second time. Yeah, when you feel confident yeah, yeah. to do so. What's good about it? It gives you the option to choose whether you want to do it or not. Yeah. Does Diana and Sean know that? I mean, Diana and the ladies going around telling everyone. Telling everyone. Oh, that is so cool, man. I'd be scared to do it though. I would. <laughs> All I can hear is Dion screaming from the top of her lungs, and they actually are going upside down. Keep going. Keep going that way. Keep going that way. So me, Dion, Sean, Logan and Caleb are all going to go on the big roller coaster. Check this out guys. So it looks really big from the outside and I've heard that there's a good few drops. Now as you guys know I'm not a big roller coaster fan or even a fast ride fan to be like to say the least. But I'm definitely going to go on this because i got to take Stephanie's place. Stephanie's pregnant and she's like Sean come on you've got to give it a go. So I'm like okay I'm going to give it a go but I don't know how I'm going to react. I don't know if I'm going to start like freaking out on it or anything like that. I might freak out. I might not, I don't know, I actually might be sick because I've not been on big roller coasters like this for years. Honestly, it's been years. So, I'm gonna go on and I'll see you guys in a moment. That's 1%.
roller coaster. Good. Yeah, it How wasn't was too, it? It wasn't too scary. It was just about medium. Just I right. heard lots of screams. Who screams? It's like hall kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's got like a spooky, scary feel effect. Right. But I heard these two scream up. I've got some problem here. <laughs> oh, was that me? No, was <laughs> so the children have decided they want to go on reverse time. This ride is just behind me. Are you going on with them, Sean? Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. And then you've got the sky drop that the kids are going on now. This one, right here. But Sean's not going on this one, he said it's not his thing. Not my kind of thing, it like, turns your stomach. Nah, I don't mind a little bit, but not too much. Honestly, you wouldn't get me on the fastest rides in the world for a million quid. I and, wouldn't, honestly. And then you've been on the, which, what's it called, this one? The big the roller coaster. The Pleasure Beach Great Yarmouth um, roller coaster. It's like the original roller coaster. It's all made out of wood, that was cooler. I love that one. So he went on again, so they've been on twice. And then Logan and Caleb have been on a few of the little rides. I've seen this, it's just like, no. I couldn't go on this one. You went on the uh, cliff on that though. Eh, uh, Flamingo Land? Yeah, but it was half the size of that. No, like, Cliffhanger is higher than that. That's huge, I'm not wooden. No, Cliffhanger is definitely higher than that, Sean. No, it's not. It is. Leave a comment down below, guys. Is the Cliffhanger bigger than the Sky Drop? Why don't you get the measurements off the of thing? <laughs> Everybody wave, guys! <laughs> <laughs> you take a walk, Caleb. You keep take a walk. So the children are just behind me on Sky Drop now. My heart is in my mouth seeing Caleb on this ride because normally I like to be sitting next to them and like, he's putting my hand over them and making sure that they're safe but because he's when I'm by himself I'm a little worried and anxious now <laughs> Maybe for little, little kids, like I would say, like Caleb's age and like Laura. Yeah. Um, Logan didn't enjoy it that much, never did Yon and Sean. Yeah, but so maybe it's like if you're six years. Yeah, it was fun, like it was like very realistic. So it's not an actual ride, it's just like it's seats a, with a movie yeah, and the movie around. Um, a movie called One of the Life, um, and it's like a cowboy western movie type thing. And um, yeah, it was enjoyable for the little ones, but I think for like if you want to spend 15 or 20 minutes out of your day to watch it and you're a bit more grown up it's probably not something you'd want to do yeah but, um, yeah so the kids have went off to catch up on some more rides and they've went to the fun factory haven't they yep they got some fun in the fun factory but it's a really nice place to come isn't it it is and i went for a um like a mixed slush so this was three pound fifty and then you can we fill up anywhere for two pound and right at the end of the park we have twister we have the pirates raft ride 
some waltzers. So now everybody is going to go on twist that basically just spins around and round really, really fast. Yeah, we have this one at the Hopman's, don't they? We do, yeah. This yeah, is more like a Hopman theme like, park yeah. kind of, eh, not theme park, fun fair kind of ride. Isn't yeah, it, it is, yeah. How are you finding it so far, Sean? Pretty good, eh? I mean, I've had to take your place because of the crazy <laughs> situation, but that's been a nice place to come visit. For anybody who knows and has been a long time subscriber, knows that Sean hates going on ride. I'm not the biggest fan of I have to really push him to come on with me. Um, so yeah, but you were going with the children. But it's nice because the children are now all at the age where they can go on like all the rides together. So it's, I find that really, really nice to experience this time. But it's a nice little uh, pleasure beach, isn't it? It's quite big, isn't it though? When you think of it, it's got a roller coaster here. It's got uh, some really cool rides, 360 aeroplanes. Yeah, oh, that was really good, that. Which was really good because like, you had the opportunity to control it, whatever you wanted to do the 360 or not do the 360. Little log in the Daredevil, he was doing the 360 all the way. But oh, on that twist, I was like, literally like, pushed all my food, my stomach to one side. Because like, <laughs> you can only get two in each one. Sean went with Logan and Dion went with Caleb and I would, had to go by myself. You can imagine being in the one by yourself, you get swung straight to one side. side, side. And I was just like <laughs> squished on one side, my stomach was like turning. Like, yeah, really fun family day out for £13.50 per person. And you can go on the rides again and again. There's no really big queues, it's not as there. It's not. I know I'm going to get sunburnt though because I didn't expect it to be like, as sunny as it is. And yeah, I left the sunblock on the van. Turned out to be a really, really nice day. You know what I found as well? I found that the sun, the sunblock that we've got doesn't work very well. Apparently, you have to put reapply it, it says. When I was reading the back of it, you have to reapply it. But the children are currently on the waltzers now. They love the waltzers. And Sean's doing so well as well because JJ, he's scared of rides and he's scared of like heights and things. But this time, he's really pushing himself to overcome that fear. I think as he does one and he does another, he gets like, more confident. Yeah. You know, like when you haven't been to a theme park for years? That's well, what that's I think it is. Like I think that's why like I don't like them as much because like I never used to go to theme parks very often. As if you used to go a lot more than me, didn't you? Used to I used to a lot love more theme parks. Yeah. I went through a stage like I really enjoyed them when I was younger. Then I went through a year or two where I didn't enjoy them. And then when I got into my late teens, I really enjoyed going to theme parks and stuff again. Um, but yeah, I think especially because the whole Corona situation and not being able to go to these places. The children have really missed that and I think that's why Sean's like seizing that opportunity to do it now because he's, like when something's been taken away from you you don't realise until it's been taken away from you how much you miss it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Well it's like isn't it? It's like when um, we all went to lockdown and stuff like we all missed like going to the shops because we could only go once a day and like we all missed going out to a local area to go to the beach because you couldn't go to your local area. So to have the freedom that we've got now, like we're taking the full advantage of it, aren't we? And I suppose that's why we're travelling and doing as many holidays that we can, because yeah. we've missed it, haven't we? Exactly. Like just what you're saying there, when you haven't had something for a long time, you appreciate it a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. Caleb and Logan found it, but it was pretty good. What do you guys think? Did you get scared at all or not? Did you get scared? Yeah. Should I get to what I said to myself? This oh, is not real. <laughs> do you know that Resident Evil? Yeah. Oh, you play that on the VR. That's what it was a little bit like. I, was and also, I went by myself, you guys had each other. Guess what you're doing with that door of the Just close that eye, don't know how now. Caleb, 
Uh, how did you find it? Scary or not? No, not scary. We've done every ride here apart from the water log ride. Yeah. But we'll do that just before we leave because we don't want to be walking around soaking wet. Yeah. Um, but what do you want to go on again? Dodgems. Yeah, there's dodgems down there. So we're kind of done at this theme park. Um, we've done all the rides. The children have went on one or two again. Um, Sean, Dion and Caleb have went on the big roller coaster and Sean and Logan are currently on reverse time for the last time today. Then we're going to make our way to the water log ride, do that before we leave and then we've got a long journey back home. We've got five and a half hour drive back home. So I wouldn't say this is like the biggest theme park out there but really fun day out for the children, really fun family day out and you get to go on the ride once as well which is always fun. So we've just finished up with Great Yarmouth's Pleasure Park. What an amazing place to come. Um, one of the reasons why we decided to stay at the Haven Caravan Park up at Cassia upon Sea and uh, because we wanted to come back and do this park. Because when we came last time we were at Wild Duck it was closed. But another thing that's closed is also the water raft. Um, the water raft has been temporarily closed because it's gone under some repairs. So the kids were kind of looking forward to that, but not as much as me because I love a good water log ride. Um, the kids were like, I'm not too sure if I want to go on. So it was kind of a good I'm thing. Yeah, uh, you didn't want to go on, but Lo Logan, uh, not Logan, Dion and Sean, they didn't want to get wet. Um, and true fact, this ride here, so I've heard, um, is salt water from the sea. Check this out. As you can tell it's got the, the salt on the top. But yeah, hey, you can smell the salt in it, can't you? Can. Yeah. But it looks really good. That would have been fun to do at the end. But maybe next time we come back and we stay at another holiday park, we'll come back and do that. Yeah. If it's yeah, on. yeah. If it's on. Yeah. It's such a lovely place. Really nice beach to come to. There's so much to do. And one of the things that I liked about the park as well, the pleasure park, is that it had lots of seats. Yeah, so there's lots of things. When you were well, like waiting, when you were on the rides and stuff, and I was waiting. There's lots of sitting area for us to wait around, so that was good. Seagulls on bunk, as well. They come down. The seagulls. Stealing people's food and stuff. I was like, no way. <laughs> so, speaking about food, we're going to head off about an hour's up the road. We've got a five, just over a five hour journey back to Newcastle, which is quite long. Um, we're not staying anywhere else. We might stay somewhere, I don't, I'm not too sure, but we're going we're gonna to head back to Newcastle. We might stay somewhere for the night if I get really tired. Um, <clears throat> um, but what we'll do, we're going to go to Tesco and we're just going to have something in the van. Either like a little barbecue or something, or maybe it's a sandwich or something. Oh, you definitely can see the, you can see all, all the algae. Oh no, what the hell's happened there? Is it, is it a dead pigeon. <laughs> and there's plenty of parking right next to the park. Uh, we spent how much did we spend? Was it five pounds? It was four pounds fifty. Right. So oh, how much are we? £7.50 for all day I think. £7.50 all day or £4.50 for four hours. Um, but I did say you paid £5 on the... Yes, because I had no change so I had to put the extra £50. Pounds all right, okay, I get it. <laughs> but yeah, it was a nice little session. Um, really enjoyed it. Roller coaster was definitely my like, favourite, surprisingly. I'm not really a big fan of roller coasters or fast rides, but that wasn't overly fast, but it had a little bit of speed to it where you didn't feel sick. Yeah. Like just where you get them butterflies and you get the little tingles in your belly. Yeah. I like that but I don't like the ones where there's like totally like nearly knocks you the next year and you're like, whoa, like no, that's not for I me. I found it really, really strange how there was two members of staff on all the time and it looked like he was doing some controlling. Yeah, look, stop. Uh, on the roller coaster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how they operate it, but it, it did look interesting how two members of staff raided the roller coaster every time. What a cool ride for them. <laughs> I would ever get sick of it though. Oh, yeah, I probably do get sick of it. <laughs> right, let's cross over to the van then. Back home. Back to our beautiful home. So we've just pulled by uh, Aldi's down at Nowick upon Tarrant. It's just like northwest from Nottingham. Um, a little bit further down from Doncaster. And we're just coming to get some food because we're going to have a bite to eat. And then get back on the road. One of the good things about owning a motorhome is you can cook on the side of the road. You don't have to just go into any drive through and pay a fortune for food. So yeah, we can drop all our rubbish off in the bins as well. 
feeling a little bit tired. I think I've got about another two and a half hours journey back home, but I'll see how I go. Um, I feel a bit more tired. I might just book a place for the night and just camp up. But gonna go to Aldi's now, get some food. So we've just finished up at Aldi's and we've just bought some food. The first thing that we're gonna try out are these new naked Thai curries. Uh, we went for a green Thai curry one and a spicy one, I think. Spicy it's chicken. a fiery chicken, yeah. Fiery chicken. I've never tried it before, so I don't know what it's called. Yeah. What's it? It's a pana panang. A panang. A panang. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but these are 99 pence each. And then we went for some sliced cheese, some ham, the ham and cheese sandwiches. We're going to have a cuppa. Got the kettle boiling at the moment. <laughs> I'm actually looking for a foldable one, but I mean, that's good. It's really good it's really for now, good isn't it? For now. Uh, and then we've got some lovely white chocolate biscuits to dunk in our tea. Yeah, it's been quite a journey to be on the road for about nearly three hours now, haven't we? Oh, yeah. And we had like a um, bit of an accident happen in front of us, so we had to like be delayed for an extra half an hour or so. So it's been a long journey. But yeah. we're going to have our food and we'll catch up you guys in a bit. We will show you guys the camper van very, very soon. Very soon, guys. Know you guys have been waiting for it. Um, but we've just been soaking up the holiday vibes at the moment. Yeah. Before yeah. baby comes, I yeah. to say her name. Uh, I keep going to sell you. So I have to be careful, baby angel. Yeah. But um, eight weeks left. Well, the time to watch this, it'll be less than that. Yeah, it will be one. It will, yeah. But um, still getting um, pelvic pain. I am. I don't know whether to have uh, like any lessons booked or whether just to leave it because I've only got eight weeks. It's been. I think it's been because you uh, when you went swimming, you were doing like breast strokes and stuff, you know. Yeah. So I well, think it was I caused it. Yeah, but I mean, when I do a lot of walking as well, it's like sometimes, like today, I've been walking around the Pleasure Beach, and I you just felt feel it, did like, you? Yeah, now I feel like it's a bit of pain, yeah. like, and it's like kind of shooting down my legs a little. Do you think this will be a good place to end the vlog? Because I think the time we get back, we're gonna be so tired. Well, the time we get back is gonna be about nine o'clock, so yeah, we could end the vlog here. Yeah. But I've bought a maternity support belt, which I was hoping was gonna be here before I've done this holiday, but it got delayed in the post. So when I go back home, I'm looking forward to trying that out. Be good for like the last few weeks of your pregnancy when things start to get really heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think one of you suggested getting one, so I did get one. Yeah. yeah. So thank you for suggesting it. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Right. So we're going to end the vlog. I'll quickly just jump on, turn this around. Um, we'll have our food. Kettle should be boiled in the next five minutes, and we'll catch you guys all up in the next Batista family vlog. If it's your first time watching, we're travelling around the UK at the moment, getting up to all sorts of stuff. We will be doing some more travel videos. Um, but we are planning on having a little bit of a break back at home. We've got um, some things just to do. Some announcements we? for you guys, um, pregnancy things, and stuff he's got to talk to you yeah. all about. And but we'll be back on the road, I promise you that. Yeah, we will. <laughs> and you will get to see the camera Hopefully camp before van. baby comes as well. Yeah, de yeah. for definite. Yeah. But we'll You're just squeezing all these holidays, aren't you, before she comes? <laughs> yeah, we've got to go back home, see uh, some important stuff and things like that. Yeah. You guys know what we mean. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Yeah. We'll catch you guys up in the next Batista family vlog. I think I've already said that, but I'm going to say it again. Be yourself, guys. Be different. Good night.